In this video we have covered up some of the best AI tools that have been released until now, we can use these AI tools to create amazing animation films like a professional production house would do. We have covered the best AI tools in this video, which we are going to discuss in detail in a bit. With these tools we can add more depth and immersion to our animation. Let's start with Leiapix. We will go to Leiapix website, upload our image, and voila! We will instantly have an immersive depth animation that we can add customization to it. Adjust the animation cycle and style using sliders or dive into the advanced editor for more customization. Once we are satisfied, we would click share and select the preferred export format, it's that simple. These animations are truly captivating. Leia Pix has been featured by on our couple of previous videos. The next solid AI tool for animations is called Pika, which again has been featured in our videos as well. For using Pika we need to go to their Discord channel. Once we are in the Discord server, go to the Generate Channels. There, we can use a command to tell the tool what kind of movement we want in our scene, upload an image, and then hit enter to generate our video. You can see here, the changes are pretty solid in this respect. This tool can even create videos from text descriptions without needing an image to reference. Another cool tool we have been looking into over and again is Instaverse from Illumin AI. It can turn our 2D images into 3D environments. Just upload our image, add a depth map, and finally we are good to go. It's really easy to use and produces great results. There's also this neat tool from Meta that lets us animate drawings and it's called Animated Drawings. It works best with characters on a white background, with each limb separate and so on. We can tweak the settings to get the look we want, or we can remove the background somewhere else, and re-upload the images here. So, if you want to try making your own animated videos, being an artist yourself, or bringing drawings to life, check out this tool. They're fun and easy to use. If you come across any problems, this tool will help you locate each part of the character. Just follow the instructions up here, and it will show you where to look. Then, let it work, and you'll see the result. There are many animations available to pick from. They're mostly designed for fun, so they might seem a bit silly. But it's enjoyable to try them out. You can remove the background and overlay the animation on different pictures. It's really easy to use. If you want to jazz up a photo of a real person, Jinmo is a super fast tool for adding awesome animations. There are two tabs you can explore here. The old option lets you upload our image, tell it what you want to animate, and watch it go. It works fine, but we're trying out the new Jinmo chat feature in this video. You can also create images, turn text into videos, and even make 3D objects lots of cool options. But for now, let's focus on animating images. There are two ways to do this. You can simply upload our image and then. You can talk to Jinmo and it figures out what's in the image you give it. Then, you can guide it from there. I usually just tell it to animate the image and see what it comes up with. Its responses make sense, and the first animation it generates is usually good. But if you don't like it, you can ask it to make changes. For example, here the dog wasn't moving at all, which was pretty cool. I could keep giving feedback, or I could start with clearer instructions to get the result I want. If you want to know more details and understand how it works better, after. First, you'll need to upload a photo. Once it's uploaded, click the plus button to select it as our reference image. After that, hit the animate button, and a box will appear where you can describe what you want to see in the animation. You can also adjust settings like the length of the animation and how much variation there should be between frames, which is called dynamism. Additionally, you can choose to animate a specific part of the image. If you like the initial animation, you can try it out in different styles, like an oil painting, and adjust the dynamism and exploration settings to 50. The animation process is pretty quick, and it produces some really cool results. You can experiment with different styles, lengths, and scenes. There's a lot of creative possibilities, and our fuel balance, which determines how much you can create and you can always switch to a paid plan if you want to create more. 
Runway is one of the highly talked about AI animation tools but costs money, but I'm mentioning it because it now has a feature where you can use images to prompt the creation of videos. It's like Pika, but Runway offers more tools and is web-based. However, when using images as prompts, it doesn't always look exactly like the image you provide. So, you often end up just seeing what it comes up with. Even though you don't have much control, it can still produce some cool results. The problem is that the number of creations you can make is quite restricted, which means the expenses can pile up, especially since you're not guaranteed to get something impressive every time. Sometimes, it might even return an animation where nothing much seems to happen, which feels like a waste of credits. They do offer an unlimited plan, but it's quite expensive at $95 per month. However, when it works out, their results are among the best in terms of quality compared to any other image-to-video tool available. The next tool is called Kaber. It has a wide range of capabilities. With some learning and experimentation, you can create impressive animations. We mainly use this tool for adding effects to existing videos, but it also works well for animating images. The free version offers only a 7-day trial, after which it costs $5 per month for the base plan. To get started, click Create a Video, then begin with an image and upload our photo. Type in what you want to create, and... The first part is where we choose the style and settings for creating animations. We can pick from different styles they offer or try our own ideas. Once we have chosen, then we set the camera movement and how crazy we want the animations to be. After that, it shows us a preview so get the idea to see what it will look like. We can even plan out different scenes that change as the animation progresses. Then, you let it do its thing. It might take a bit depending on how long our video is. Next we have three main AI tools. DID, HeyGen, and Sad Talker. These tools are commonly used for creating animated avatars with speaking capabilities. They're also popular for making meme videos and faceless animations. Two of them offer freemium plans that are simple to use, while the third one is completely free but a bit trickier. Let's start with DID. So, you can see here we upload a picture of a face, then either write our script and select a voice, or upload our own audio, which could be our own voice or one generated using a tool like Eleven Labs. After that, we would let it generate, and we can create up to 5 minutes for free, depending on our needs. $5 per month is charged afterward. Next is a demonstration of the software called DID, How Do I Look? Then there's another tool called HeyGen, which follows a similar process. They offer many additional features. One key difference is that we cannot upload famous faces on DID, while HeyGen handles them fine. So, I prefer using HeyGen most of the time. With HeyGen, you get one free minute each month, and it's paid after that. This is a demo of the software called HeyGen, how do I look? There's also a completely free option available. We can find Sad Talker on Hugging Face, this tool operates on a similar concept. We start by uploading our source image and then the audio that we want to use. Make sure you have the audio ready before uploading. There are a few settings to adjust. We can set the expression scale to around 1 to 1.5 and switch the face model to 512 for higher resolution, although this option takes longer to generate. On the other hand, if you have a powerful computer, you can speed up the process by upgrading the GPU or duplicating the space. Personally, I haven't tried these options due to hardware limitations. For pre-processing, we can choose full to avoid cropping down the animated section, which would require overlaying it onto the original image manually. Full essentially automates this process. Selecting the right settings enhances the quality significantly. After adjusting settings, let the program generate the animation. This can take anywhere from 5 minutes to an hour, depending on how busy the server is. However, the results are usually worth the wait. Our group, an outsourcing organization dedicated in helping thousands of organizations transform. It's the best fully free option we have found so far. Here you can see the demo of the software called Sad Talker. How do I look? So that was the list guys. I hope you liked it. 
Please don't forget to give this video a like and share it with others and also subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.